We are packing up rather quickly because we are headed to around the bend for a private room. Are you excited, babe? Very excited. Yes, we are very excited. So we just made it to Around the Bend Hostel after a cold, rainy morning. And these are their private cabins off to the left. And we have a private room in the main building. Got our Mexican food in, where are we, Clayton? Clayton, Georgia. Yeah. We got our free buff from Outdoor 76. And we signed the banner. Food for sale, cold drinks. They've got an awesome wraparound porch that's covered with lots of benches to set your gear. They have lines to hang your stuff to dry out. So we've got our tent drying. We've got a hanging scale so you can weigh your food bag or your pack. And in here is the bunk room. Lots of bunks. Privacy curtains, super awesome. And here is the little section that has private rooms, got a washer and dryer, everything you need in the kitchen, little hangout spot. And then back here was our room. Love the owls and we even had a TV, which was nice. And here's our bathroom and a scale which told me that I'm gaining weight. And here is the main laundry and loner clothes. This is the main house. This is the other bathroom. Howdy from day nine. We are headed out from around the bend. It was lovely. We were so tempted to stay and be vortex, but we were not. So very proud of us. And we are crossing into North Carolina today. Exciting. Yeah, my first state crossing. So I'm stoked. Yeah. Yeah. Lunch break. I got some tuna and cheese and mayo and some munchies and some blueberry lemonade that I packed out. So I'm about a mile out from my first state line crossing. And it just feels so surreal. I feel like the imposter syndrome is just like fading away a little bit. 
We made it to North Carolina. Woohoo! So exciting. Made it to Fly Gap and the really cool tree. So fun and whimsical. Love it. I wonder how old it is. What are you doing? Just chilling. Just chilling. We made it to camp and Brooke is staying warm. I refuse to get out of the tent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooking ramen. End of day nine. We are all snuggled up and ready for bed. It was a pretty exciting day with crossing our first state line and yeah. And it's the first cold night in a while, so we're actually getting to use all the clothes we're carrying. Yeah, finally. <laughs> finally <laughs> After a week. It. Well, we used it the first night, but yeah. it's been a while, definitely. I was pretty cold last night. No, not last night, the night before. Um, when it yeah. rained, yeah. Yeah. Good night, y'all. Good morning. It's day 10. We are cooking up some breakfast. Gonna make some grits and some hot cocoa with these amazing, like Lucky Charm kind of marshmallows that Trevor's mom got us from the Amish market. We are still going strong with them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're just taking it easy the next few days because we are gonna stay at Chica and Sunset. Yeah, we're excited, but they didn't have a reservation for Thursday, so we are staying Friday. We're excited. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll show you guys our breakfast when it is ready and take you along on our day as usual. Got our hot cocoa and our grits. Now for the best part. Yum. Stopped at a shelter for lunch and it's got bean dip and cheese and Fritos. Nom nom nom. Lunch break turned into sun basking break. Mm -hmm. And it is a beautiful day. Yeah, getting that vitamin D feels good. So it is the end of day 10. Today was a just a pretty chill day. Um, the weather was beautiful. We took it easy and we feel great. And 
we're really excited about tomorrow. We're going to be starting the day climbing Standing Indian Mountain, and we're really excited to see the views up there. But in the meantime, we are going to bed. Good night. Hello from day 11. We are on the top of Standing Indian Mountain and it's gonna be a beautiful day. Amazing views up here. It's only 0.1 off the trail and it's totally worth it. So worth it. So yeah, we're gonna try and do like an 11 mile day and we'll see what it brings. Getting our morning stretches in on Standing Indian Mountain. We didn't do it at camp, so we're doing it up here, which is a lot better. <laughs> you and your whole blocks of cheese. Blocks of cheese are the best. Honestly, at first I thought it was disgusting, but I have utilized that block of cheese many times. And I have to bump it up to two pound, two pound blocks <laughs> from one pound. So we have been listening to woodpeckers in the trees all morning. It started when we woke up, we saw a red-headed woodpecker by our tent. We just stopped at a shelter to relax a little bit and we can just hear them jamming their heads into the trees. And we both love woodpeckers, so we're really enjoying that. And the area we are in right now has a lot of bear activity. It's hard to know if it's from like last spring or if it's still a common thing right now but yeah where we were gonna camp has comments on far out about like a 350 pound bear being really smart and getting your food and stalking people all night so yeah we're not gonna camp there just because I'd rather do without that experience um, just in case so we're gonna stealth camp a little bit before that not make our 11 mile day but we're fine with it because again i do not want the experience with the 350 pound bear so yeah that's where we're at we'll update Day, we are actually going to stay in the shelter because strength in numbers. 